when we have to study so many number of uh, soils and we have seen the soil deposits uh, based on uh, the different uh, surface uh, surfaces available uh, i mean to say whatever we can see with the naked eye uh, we have just uh, classified the different soil deposits isn't it soil type color texture and its cultivated products and so on based on this we have classified the soil deposits but when you have to <coughs> do certain construction work on any type of soil what you need to understand is what is actually there underneath the surface is it so in order to understand in deep the soil characteristics we need to carry out the subsurface exploration it means you have to extract the soil strata underneath the surface and bring this soil strata in the laboratory for determining certain properties of the soil okay these are usually engineering properties of the soil okay so what do we do after this subsurface exploration so after finalization of location of an engineering structure certain factors are there that will uh, decide or uh, these are decided uh, and these factors are choice of materials it means what type of material shall i use for uh, building that particular structure what construction technique shall i follow what construction equipments do i need whether i need heavy equipments or i can construct the building using uh, light machinery also and what type of structure uh, should be constructed based on site and soil conditions that is why we carry out the subsurface exploration and we decide these many factors which factors choice of materials construction technique construction equipment and type of structure okay now what technical or engineering properties am i going to get using this subsurface exploration so first is gamma what is gamma gamma is the bulk density of the soil which is under the surface then cohesiveness c stands for cohesiveness phi is for angle of friction the same concept from engineering mechanics okay angle of friction then blow count it means how many number of blows do i require to uh, find out the compressibility or consolidation of the soil okay then compressibility modulus of deformation subgrade modulus permeability swelling potential quality and depth of rock so these many engineering properties we determine through subsurface exploration obviously we are going to learn these uh, properties through different technical means site investigation or site uh, testing as well as lab testing methods okay uh, so this is what we get through subsurface exploration now if we do not have the data related to these engineering properties if we have lack of reliable and accurate data it may result in inadequate unsafe and expensive construction it means you will be not in a position to decide these factors okay so subsurface exploration it is interlinked if you have appropriate subsurface exploration data with you you can decide these factors based on these engineering properties and if we do not have these then construction will be or may be uneconomical okay now so knowledge of engineering geology is must to understand 
subsurface investigation so that is important friends uh, so the following information regarding surface and subsurface conditions at site need to be obtained what are they soil and rock profile geological features of the area physical properties of the soils and rocks position and variation of water table general data such as adjacent structures flood marks soil maps hydrology topography seismicity etc okay so this information uh, can be obtained through the knowledge of engineering geology now there is some scope of investigation non uniformity of layers it means what whatever the layer is there on the surface it need not continue below certain inches meters feet whatever the unit may be so uh, on any surface we don't know what is the thickness of the layer whether we have another type of layer below the first layer how many number of different layers are there below each layer that we don't know it is unpredictable so what will happen is unpredictable deposits will need more exploration cost than homogeneous soils so let us say in 1 meter depth you have only four layers and second case is there where for 1 meter depth you have 10 number of different layers so uh it might be costlier job where there are more number of layers for the same depth for the same depth in short you will need to go more deeper below the soil surface okay then undisturbed sampling it means whatever the samples you are extracting from below the ground you should see that you are extracting the sample in their natural state okay in their natural state if you excavate the soil using hands then it is not possible for any of us to extract the soil sample in its natural state okay it will get disturbed that is what the undisturbed sampling means so when you want to extract the undisturbed samples from the uh, strata then you will need sophisticated equipments machineries skilled laborers and cost of all these resources it is obviously high so in order to extract undisturbed samples you need heavy expenditures okay then depth of explorations more the deeper you are excavating you will need more cost why because if you call any contractor or uh, any machinery and you are giving them to uh, a contract of excavating for certain depth that person is going to charge us per meter or per feet basis some amount per feet or per meter whatever may be the may be the unit and its cost okay so more deeper you go more will be the amount more hard strata is there then also more will be the uh, cost okay <clears throat> because if there is loose soil excavation will be comparatively easy if there is hard strata or hard soil excavation will cost more then nature of project on small unimportant projects heavy expenditure on detailed investigations is not advisable it means if your small building is there then soil investigation can be kept to a very very limited extent
okay and how that ex, uh, excavation is to be done it can be uh, understood through the study of uh, soil mechanics okay uh, so here you can see one image uh, there are some cylindrical samples of some meters of length okay and you can see they are of different texture different color different uh, properties now if you see uh, this sample can you see this friends this sample yes sir okay so if you see this sample it is very very disturbed it is not in its natural state okay as against this sample if you see this brown color sample it is for a considerable length correct same soil deposit we can uh, see for some more length here for this sample it is for half or even less than half the depth it means soil strata is not same at all position okay these are the soil samples from a surface taken from different points so at all the points it is not possible that soil deposits or layers are of same nature okay and based on that <clears throat> you can limit the scope of investigation <clears throat> 